It is a beautiful morning in Cairns. Perfect weather conditions for a reef raid aboard Blue Whaler, one of the many charter operations working out of the Cairns Marina. Yep, it doesn't matter how big your boat is, there's always somebody who'll outdo you. In this case, this one is apparently owned by a Swiss businessman. We're heading to the Nanny Grounds, about two hours steam due east of Cairns, on the edge of the Great Barrier Reef. On board are a competitive bunch of ARB crew in town for the upcoming ARB Open Day who are keen to hook in to a few big fish. Roger Vickery is the state manager, so it's only fair that he should hook up first. On our first drop of the morning, and we've landed a very nice largemouth nanny guy. That seems to be the cue for this crew to open up its shoulders. We've been here five minutes. We've had Rog one on that side of the boat. We've got a bit of drag work here. Chiming in is local boy Lachlan Brosnan, proving that a little bit of local knowledge goes a very long way. Lockie does a lot of fishing in this region and absolutely loves it. Goes all right, eh? Hey, you. Cairns, mate, Cairns. Beautiful. Now speaking of fishermen, check this bloke out, Scott Jennings from the sunny coast. He loves to wet a line, so the opportunity for him to hook into a few big redfish has him frothing. All I care about is that's bigger than Vickery's. Our hard-working decky Jason has a little bit on today, with plenty of fish coming over the gunnels. A couple of nice largemouth there, hopefully we get a few nice trout here. We've taken a fair few off this patch of reef, so skipper Jason ups anchor for another location and the chance to pick up a couple of world-famous North Queensland coral trout. On the very next drop, Lockie's into them again. What a day. This weather, we couldn't have snagged it absolutely better. We've just moved the boat. Come here, drop down. We're straight onto a school of nag. The sound has lit up. Oh, I'm getting a bit puffed here, mate. Ant hooks a different species, but another huge fish. I reckon that's almost the biggest red spot I've ever seen. Bit it's hard. Oh, I'm a bit puffed, mate. Not in the best of shape. Righto, boys, let's get into it, right? Meanwhile, on the other side of the boat, quiet achiever Al has hooked into a little schoolie. And Mark Lacey from ARB Cooper's Plains and Springwood opens his account with a beautiful five kilo nanny guy. Well, mate, he's got his red one. Finally got one. That'll do. We can hang up the rod now. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect fish on a perfect day's fishing. But we're not all feeling that perfect. Yes, it's good that none of us are nursing hangovers from last night, which is always good. Really? <laughs> <laughs> While the fishing has been fast and furious, a few of the crew may have fared better from a couple of extra hours kip. Well, the day's been really good so far. I've caught a big, bigger fish than Dino and a bigger fish than Vickery, so I don't care. We can just go home now. While these blokes are talking, Big Al has bagged the first trout of the day, closely followed by Mark. These fish are perfect specimens and it looks like we are right on the money. After lunch, we leave the trout mark and head back to the deeper water looking for trouble. And as they say in the classics, you should be careful what you wish for. Jesus! That's a shark. I don't know. I just got shark then. Yeah, that was Our second cameraman, Mark, caught all the action on his mobile phone. Jamie was quicker, getting his trophy red in for the day. But what about this snodger? Landed late in the afternoon and topping eight kilos. Now that is a fish. That's a cracker largemouth nanagor. Well done. That's the better part of eight kilos there. Yeah, it's a great fish. It's been a very special day with good mates hooking into some quality fish. So we've had a hell of a day today. Yeah. And I'll tell you what's even better. The salt house. Cans yeah. right on the water. The salt house, who'll cook your fish for you if you're back early enough. When the chef saw our catch, well, he was only too eager to help. 
While he got to work on the fish, we cleaned ourselves up, gathered our families and friends and headed back to the Salt House in the early evening to celebrate what had been a perfect day. There is nothing quite like fish cooked the same day you caught it. And this was only about three hours ago, it's absolutely beautiful. From the ocean to the plate, just like that. Cairns Reef Fishing runs seven days a week and are weather dependent. Head to the website for all the details. The Salt House restaurant is on the northern end of the Cairns Marina. Next time you visit Cairns, remember to drop into your local ARB. Fishing isn't the only thing they do well.